The list of the 10 costliest hurricanes in U.S. history contains only two storms prior to 2004. One of those is Andrew in 1992. The other made landfall in South Carolina almost exactly 20 years ago today as a Category 4 and was an historic storm in many ways. I'm talking about Hugo, which like many September hurricanes, originated as a cluster of thunderstorms that moved west off of Africa, becoming a tropical storm on September 11th, 1989, and a hurricane two days later. Hugo reached its peak intensity on September 15th, well east of the northern Leeward Islands. The first Hurricane Hunter plane to reach the storm at that time expected winds only in the 100 mile per hour range based on satellite estimates, but instead encountered Category 5 conditions, 160 mile per hour winds and extreme turbulence. The plane lost an engine and had to dump 15,000 pounds of fuel just to escape from inside the eye. Now two days later, Hugo slammed into the islands of Guadeloupe and Montserrat with 140 mile per hour winds and the eye passed right over St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands, causing the worst devastation in that island's history. 90% of the structures were severely damaged or destroyed, including many of the hotels and resorts. President Bush had to send military police to the island for two months to restore order. Next for Hugo was Puerto Rico as the hurricane skirted the eastern end of the island, then turned northwest and headed toward the southeast U.S. coast, making landfall just north of Charleston, South Carolina with 140 mile per hour sustained winds. Now this long track across the Atlantic puts Hugo in a select group of hurricanes that were named way out in the eastern Atlantic, beyond 35 degrees west longitude, yet still went on to hit the U.S. You might recognize the names of some of the others. There was Isabel in 2003 and Ivan in 2004, Georges in 1998, and then Donna way back in 1960. Hugo was the strongest hurricane to hit the U.S. in the 1980s, causing $7 billion in damage, most of that in South Carolina, where several billion bored feet of forest were laid to waste. Hugo still packed hurricane force winds 200 miles inland when it reached Charlotte, North Carolina where 80,000 trees were knocked down and 98% of the residents lost power, some for more than two weeks. Hugo was also a landmark storm for television coverage of hurricanes, especially for the Weather Channel, which at the time had been on the air for just seven years. Their round-the-clock coverage, led by then-hurricane expert John Hope, earned them a golden ace, the most prestigious award in cable broadcasting, and established the channel as a force on the cable dial. Not surprisingly, the name Hugo was retired, one of 73 Atlantic storm names now on that list, including three from last year. Gustav, which devastated Haiti, Ike, the third costliest storm to ever hit the U.S., and Paloma, which caused tremendous damage in Cuba. Paul Knight is back next with the extended forecast.